Okay, so we're gonna go in right before everyone gets to go in. Come on. Okay, what do you guys think of people calling Apple fans I sheep? What's up guys? We are here at the Fifth Ave Apple Store. So this is the flagship store here in New York. If you saw my recent video, I was out in San Francisco checking out the iPhones. Well today, today is iPhone day where people are actually going to get their hands on the phones. So this is at Fifth Ave and 58th. If you can see that glass box, so that's kind of like the iconic Apple Store glass box, but they're actually redoing that right now. So they moved the Apple Store a little bit over so this has been the Fifth Ave store for a little bit of time. Who knows when that glass box is gonna be ready. How long does it take to just like make some new glass, you know? They make a new phone every year, but they can't get us some new glass out here in New York. Guys, my audio setup um, is this straight into my massive Zoom recorder. Look at this. Reporting live. So we are here with the first customer. You were here at midnight? Yep, for eight hours. <laughs> Last wow. year I came like 8.30, uh, it was like a line all the way down to 3rd Avenue. So is it different this time? Do you think people are like waiting in bed because they got their pre-orders? Like this, is, this is the S upgrade, it's not the major upgrade, so it's not that many people here. Can I, add, can I ask you some questions? No. Okay, it's okay. What do you think is the biggest difference? Like, why upgrade? It's available. Are you getting the max? Okay, so is it the screen? Is it the camera? Size, because um, I've been using the iPhone 10 for like, what, 10 months or so. It's pretty good, but I want the larger screen. Camera, um, you can adjust the aperture after you take the picture, that's pretty cool. Okay, what do you guys think of people calling Apple fans iSheep? I don't mind it. It really doesn't bother me. Call me whatever you want. Everyone has their thing. Everyone has something different. This is something some of us enjoy doing and getting new things every year, new products. So I'm fine with it. We love our iPhones and we are unashamed. <laughs> are you getting the Max, the 10s? Which one are you getting? I'm getting for my daughter the XS. X -S. That is a good mom. I don't think my mom would ever stand in line for me. So good job. Why is ECG important? Myself, uh, let's say if I am high, high on cholesterol, right? So I need to check uh, on my ECG all the time. I don't have to go to the clinic all the time. So the best thing is to go, you know, to the app and get it, get it in touch. And it's, it's FDA approved, so that's good. That's how I get the subscribers, guys. Yeah. One by one. Can you subscribe to my YouTube channel? Guys, I just got two new subscribers. <laughs> That's like six this week. I don't think iPhone is the most important thing in life. Before Steve Jobs died. Oh, okay, okay. That's what and before said. they put a notch on the on the phone, and before oh, they protruded oh, the camera. Oh, we got it. Okay, okay. So final thoughts. Um, it's fun to see the excitement in the Apple employees. I think that translates to everyone. Yeah. So the moment they opened the doors and the Apple employees went like, woo, screaming, you could tell everyone's levels just went like. Yeah way up. Just that excitement of like being in line, all the employees like yay, yeah. and you, like, you get excited because you bought something. Yeah, it's, it's definitely different, yeah. but people do still camp out for sure. It was awesome to be considered press and be able to go in early. Time to talk about the camera. Before the release day of the new iPhone, I had a chance to do some hands-on testing with the iPhone XS Max. I had some meetings in LA, so I was back on the West Coast. I'm going to focus mostly on the camera on these new iPhones. Now, remind you, this is a S year, so if you bought an iPhone 10 last year, or maybe even an iPhone 8, if this upgraded camera that I'm going to talk about isn't important, then maybe wait till next year for the upgrade, but if you're rocking an iPhone 6 and 7, I think you are going to be very pleased with this new 
iPhone. I was actually blown away by the camera. Before diving into the iPhone camera, quick shout out to our sponsor, Audible. Audible is where I listen to all of my audiobooks and it contains an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original audio shows, news, comedy, and a ton of leading audiobook publishers, broadcasters, and entertainers. And my friend Ryan Serhant just released his brand new book, Sell It Like Serhant, which I am very excited to dive into. I want to learn his sales tactics on how he sells million dollar apartments in New York City. I always have AirPods in my ears, so Audible is so good for learning that knowledge on the go. So whether you're commuting, you're flying, or you're working out, Sarah, don't act like you work out. They don't have to know that. I might want to work out Sunday. Well, anyways, guys, go to audible.com slash Sarah Dietschy or text Sarah Dietschy to 500-500 to get an exclusive 30-day free trial and a book of your choice for free. All right, it's time to talk about this iPhone XS camera. on the skateboard. I I would like a wider camera still, just a little bit. Um, so we're gonna see if we can see him doing the trick, maybe a kickflip or something for your eyeballs in slow motion. Here we go. I think that the selfie camera is we've been shooting 4K at 24 frames per second. We've been shooting slow-mo. Um, but when it comes to changing frame rates, you don't necessarily change the frame rate of this true depth selfie camera in settings, but it mirrors the rear camera. So if you want that 60 frames per second on the front camera, which is new, you have to make sure your rear camera is changed to 60 frames per second. That went in one ear yeah, and out the honestly, other for me. <laughs> it's not the most intuitive, but now you know, guys. Now you know. Dale, thank you for helping me. You're welcome. Link in bio. So everything you saw this morning was shot on the brand new iPhone XS Max using the Filmic Pro app. Uh, some of the shots were shot on Cody's iPhone 10, but most of them XS Max. So let's get in to this camera. Here are some of the edits that I got from shooting out and about in LA. I'm going to compare them to the iPhone 10, the raw images, no edits right after this, but I just, I really enjoy the images that I got. The new iPhone has a bigger sensor with deeper pixels that you will see in the comparison, but straight off the bat, they do have a more saturated look. I would say they're almost similar, very similar to something you would get out of a Samsung phone. Minus the over sharpening that Samsung does, that's oh, that's something that I'm just not the biggest fan of. But the fact that iPhone pictures now resemble Samsung pictures a little bit, that's, that's a good thing. I did find the colors being more accurate. Dale's sweatshirt was bright orange. So the Max was more accurate to the orangeness instead of the red that it kind of came off on the tin, but I did have to bring it into my Lightroom mobile app and decrease the saturation of the sweatshirt because it was just too much. Smart HDR is the reason, in my opinion, to upgrade your iPhone. Every DSLR, every phone camera that you use during perfect lighting, whether you have studio lighting or maybe it's a sunset or a sunrise, those pictures are gonna be beautiful. This update we got with the 10s now allows you to take pretty darn good pictures at any time of the day. So when you start comparing the pictures from my iPhone 10 to the new 10s, mine blown. I took these pictures in the middle of a bright sunny day in LA, it was unevenly lit, the pictures are backlit. You're gonna see the biggest difference in these pictures in the settings where the pictures would normally look terrible which is good. That means you can point your iPhone wherever, whenever, and you're gonna come out with a pretty decent image. So smart HDR in practice is actually very, very impressive. These deeper pixels are very obvious in the portrait mode pictures. Look at this portrait mode selfie that Dale took. You can actually still see his neck in the 10S. The added detail in the shadows is just, it's spot on. It's very cool that you can now adjust the background blur. However, the default 
f4, f4.5 is usually what's going to look the best. Just because you can do it to f1.4 doesn't mean you always should. <laughs> I look forward to comparing the 10s max to the note 9 because the note 9 and ever since the note 8 actually uh, samsung phones have had that adjustable background blur so which one's gonna look better i don't know you should subscribe because i'll do that video very soon and also non-iphone related videos what yeah for sure and a quick reminder that ios 12 and the new mac os is now out. So not only are you going to get that screen time feature, the better photo organization and Siri shortcuts, but there's a lot of performance enhancements. So I was seeing on Twitter a lot of people with older iPhones are like, oh, my, my phone is actually usable now. It's not super slow. Don't be scared to do that update. If you want to learn more about some of these updates in a fun way, I did make a video from WWDC that you can check out. So should you update your iPhone? Well, that is definitely something to argue about in the comment section down below. I'll peep some of the comments. But again, I was kind of wowed by the smart HDR. If you are not a big like camera person, you're not taking pictures all the time, the only reason maybe to upgrade to the max from an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 8 is maybe because of the bigger display, the better battery. But remember, it's an S year, so next year, we're guaranteed that they'll come out with the best iPhone ever again. The new sensor performed great with low light pictures um, and also some apps that I would recommend. Audible, duh, of course. Description and below, check it out. But some creation apps are Filmic Pro. We use that a lot today. It kind of gets rid of the iPhone-y look but takes advantage of the great, great camera. Visco Cam is what I edit all of my iPhone pictures in. And also Lightroom Mobile. It actually allows you to do those selection masks to turn down size saturation or exposure with very specific parts of the picture. And hopefully Filmic Pro will come out with an update to support that stereo audio very soon. Did you enjoy this video? Smash that like and subscribe button for new videos every single week. I don't just make videos about phones. I generally cover the tech and creativity realm show process, um, and I love it, and it's super fun. So join the Peachy fam. Uh, I, I live in New York City, um, I'm 24 years old. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I like technology, I like gear, I'm a gearhead. I play guitar, maybe I can do another guitar video coming up. So there's there's a little uh, get to know me if, if you're new around here. The watch is great, it looks great, I enjoy it. Marquez just put a really awesome video out on that. You should check it out. Um, I just, I don't have enough to say about it to make a video, but look guys, it's beautiful. Okay. I'll see you in the next video. Stay peachy. Okay. Bye.